Hello and welcome back to yet another live AMA session with Newton School. Today we are going to talk to Harish. Um, Harish is someone who's from the electrical background, so did not know coding before he joined Newton School. Uh, he's going to tell us about his interesting journey where he became a full stack developer. Uh, I'm excited to talk to you, Harish, today. A lot of people who uh, come to Newton School, who, a lot of people who are trying to make a career in tech, uh, would be watching this live AMA session um, and would want to kind of know more about your journey. Um, so thank you so much, Harish, for joining us today. Harish, let's quickly get started. Um, I want to understand from you first, you are someone who was not um, aware of coding. You did not know coding. Um, and because um, Bari coding can become a little intimidating to a lot of people kai bari newton school ke bhi students jo hote hain wo non cs non tech background se bhi hote hain to unhe ek thoda sa dar hota hai ki yaar mujhe coding aayega ya nahi aayega aapko aisa dar tha and what did you do with it yeah i'm coming on that actually when i joined the newton school uh, that time i was also scared like uh, if if the uh, Hindi or the language uh, in the coding, so I would have choose the Hindi because I would too much scared about that. Uh, but uh, after joining the school, actually the coding started from the zero level, from the hello world. First day you will see like ABCD, we are going to start that. So that time you will be started with the Newton school and then your journey begins. But you have to practice on the assignments given on the time and try to do yourself so that uh, more clarity will be there. But yeah. I can promise you that uh, coding is much much easier than generator and motor. <laughs> like I'm blocking <laughs> the background of electrical. And was it was it co was coding that easy? Yeah, uh, uh, it was because of Newton School. Because uh, in my college, I was not able to write a single code like L word and anything else. Super, super. Um, I'm excited to know more about this. So, you said that one, you did not know coding. You also um, felt that coding is not as easy but when you came to Newton school you realized that even if you were not from the tech background or uh, from a CS background you could still um, learn coding from scratch right now yeah. what was the biggest um, biggest thing that helped you um, while you were at Newton school to learn coding uh, if uh you have assigned a mentor and a instructor and uh, first you will be assigned uh, there will be a class for the two hours uh, for the uh, for the inst instru instructor only would be there and then you will be assigned a mentor so if you are having any doubts so uh, your doubts all will be cleared through the mentors so if uh, you are not uh, able to solve the assignment so you can ask your doubt to the mentors so um, be free to uh, ask any questions there they would be really helpful because the mentor are the experts in their fields they are the uh, uh, great product based companies from like uh, microsoft amazon i have uh, gone through the two three mentors uh, they all were uh, from the great background like uh, amazon and the microsoft world. got it so environment so, is uh, like that yes Arish. So environment is like that. Uh, you will not, uh, uh, you will not be scared. That must be difficult for the uh, three or four days. You may face difficulties if you are known IT background, but if you would not be scared after that. Got it. So Harish, a lot of times um, students who come to Newton School tell us that you know they um, have been kind of uh, trying to learn DSA. Now these are some students who have who know coding and still are scared of DSA. Uh, you were someone who was not from the coding background, the, the CS background. Uh, how did you manage your way around DSA? Yeah. So um, there is day-to-day -day assignments, problems are given to you in Newton School. And the problems are uh, from not only single platform like uh, Geek for Geek, we can say the easy and the uh, the lightweight codings uh, be prepared to go for the geek for geek and for the medium we go through the lead code uh, but on the newton schools portal you will be aligned the uh, assignments which are on the like contest level assignments 
and uh, on time to time you will be having the contest uh, they the these questions are uh, you will not find on that google so every time you will have to think about the questions and then will you would have to uh, solve that so it will uh, uh, impact more i can say uh, when you are coding and you are not getting the solution and actually you will think about the problem and then you will try to solve that so these are the okay. more impact got it so harish i think you've spoken about assignments you've also spoken about uh, about your mentors a little bit uh, can you tell us a little more about uh, how your journey was with your mentors yeah uh, my mentor was amazing man he uh, indra jodh is his name and actually he was from the civil background and he is also a motivation for me and when he is from the civil and he pushed me uh, to go deep in the technologies like and when asked i asked the doubt from him so he directly deny me i will not tell you the answer directly so he told me always the path and the link he can provide that go through this link and read about this article you will know your answer soon after reading this so he never told me the answer directly i really can say sometimes i uh, got angry about that uh, that he is not helping me but now i can find that uh, not only a coder is successful uh, in the developer journey but also you should, you could be have be a googler because everything you will have to google after uh, you will be aligned to a company so i cannot uh, say my words in thanks to indra jodh he helped me a lot there so before joining the nutra school we were the mentees and the mentor he was but now we are friend when i call him so uh, like that uh, what's up going on Uh, we share everything and now we can yeah super you know i have heard stories of newton school students becoming best friends but these stories are also very rare where mentors and the mentee have become uh, really good friends so cheers to the you on that and i'm i'm very happy to hear that um you know you are talking very confidently harish and uh, i love that you are very very you said that you were concerned about talking in english but you were very confident in talking in english as well um how much um, role did mock interviews play in your journey when you were trying to um, you know communicate what your skill set is to interviewers yes actually i am the person who has given the lots of mocks uh, like every kind of mock i have given like hr mock and the technical one and the full stack back end front end every one of the and zero to i uh, means there is a difficulty levels uh, like easy medium hard and there is challenge so i have completed till the challenge level uh, i think the communication skills doesn't care if you are good in technical part so uh, it only impact in the hr interview uh, i can say that uh, because um, if you are giving uh, the mock interviews day by day so um, you will be confident automatically if uh, i am sometimes i feel that uh, i am giving actual companies real interview there uh, but i feel that i have given the mock because i have rejected also many times so that's not we uh, but uh, every time when i rejected i got a new problem to learn that so i try to learn the problem uh, which i was failed uh, to solve in the interview so got it awesome harish harish um, just out of curiosity what was the um, craziest feedback that you got like you realize that oh okay this is a mistake i'm making what was that uh, actually uh, sometimes uh, uh, when you are known cs background means uh, you are not much interested about the coding and uh, you got an opportunity and you are uh, learning meanwhile you are slow but you are learning day by day so you are improving your skills uh, but uh, if uh, sometime i face the challenge like when um, we were learning the dsc part then uh, after some time we uh, switch to the uh, front end technologies like react so uh, that time um, i was also forgetting about the dsc and the problem solving skills but not uh, too much enough that time so um, also uh, parallelly practice uh, is mandatory to up skills yourself awesome awesome so um harish uh, you knew that your journey was going to be 
difficult because you were from a non a non cs background right tell me something when you finally got to the stage of placements did you feel confident that i will be able to crack it yeah actually after four months uh, this much i was confident that i would get the job mm -hmm. this was my confident level that uh, any if i know the work how to do in the industry so uh, that much i know that i would be get a job yeah, it's done uh, but uh, if you are rejecting day by day uh, suppose uh, you have given an interview with the 90% of the questions you have told him and 95% of the accuracy of the right answer were there and tomorrow you will get to know that uh, you are rejected by company so uh, sometime you feel disappointed and the moral is also down that time so what happens uh, you try to find that uh, where are you lagging behind so that time i was bit nervous uh, that uh, why i am not getting placed but uh, after some time uh, if uh, i have achieved a goal like uh, uh, i'm looking that uh, i i'm looking for the 7 lp or 8 lp uh, so uh, that much confidence i should be aware that uh, if i'm going so i would be uh, able to uh, give at least 70% of the answer that much a interviewer expect if you are uh, giving the 70% of the answer so that would be okay so interview appreciates you uh, sometimes it doesn't because the requirements is uh, a two or three people and the appearing there is uh, 50 people so it happens so never disappointed and never uh, down your moral uh, always motivated so this would be helpful awesome awesome hari uh, i'm i'm really happy about the journey that you've had because from not knowing coding at all to learning how to code getting over the fear of dsa um, you know building a nice relationship with your mentor learning every day with assignments and then finally getting placed um i just want to know now that how did you party once you got to know that you you got placed actually uh, we have already party <laughs> but uh, once i want to uh, join with the new tech school team who helped me to get the job and really i was not uh, uh, when I, there was a four round for the uh, uh, this company and two were the test and third was the uh, technical interview then was the hr so when hr called me uh, that you have placed so i was not believing that and uh, i was thinking that uh, somebody is uh, calling and uh, as much he is saying because i have rejected many times so uh, that was confidence i was not there that uh, meanwhile i looked uh, uh, i have given a mock interview only so that much confidence was there only uh, but i was really uh, surprised that time when she called yeah, yeah again i asked please don't mind please tell me after this <laughs> this interview any round is there <laughs> so she said <laughs> don't worry <laughs> this is your final round super awesome harish this is very interesting also um we have one question from devesh um in the live chat he wants to know some interview tips from you what would you suggest yeah uh, actually if you are going through the interview so don't try to uh, study the new topics revise only which ones you know and uh, second one i would like to say that uh, if you are if you don't know any answer so please don't tell the wrong answer because it impacts two type of the answer like uh, second first one you don't know the answer which question he asked and the second one uh, you uh, told him the wrong answer so that one question also you don't know so uh, um, directly deny that i don't know this but don't tell the wrong answer it will impact bad makes sense no that completely makes sense that those are wise words um, harish one last question uh in general like you know a lot of students who come to newton school are not from non tech backgrounds they have not studied engineering um you were someone who has not studied coding you were someone who was not from the computer science background right what advice would you give to anybody who wants to make a career in tech irrespective of their bank background that they have mm, if you are uh, really interested in web development or the Uh, technology so don't care about that because now the 2022 and the hiring is uh, for the it companies are the top of so 
if you are interested and you are motivated so if you work hard for the four or the five months so you will get a job definitely and if i can also say that if you have completed the 70 percent of the uh, data structure and algorithms questions of the newton school so uh, basically the base package 6 lp and the 7 lp you will not lose that if you are uh, completing only 70 percent it would be okay makes sense uh, those are again wise words harish it has been amazing talking to you a lot of your friends on your uh, live chat are giving you a thumbs up so cheers to you on that um, thank you so much for making time for us um, i i am really happy that you spoke to us thank you thank you for inviting me have a good time